Okay, so today I'm going to be putting this um, glass bed on my uh, 3D printer bed. Uh, now this is a 220mm by 220mm, so it fits the bed absolutely perfectly. Um, I think I'm just going to put it straight on top of the aluminium. And so, um, also what I'm going to do is, is I bought this um, PEI sheet which is supposed to be uh, really good for a um, 3D printer bed surface. Uh, when it's hot, the uh, PLA or whatever filament you're using will stick to it, and then when it cools down, it should pop off or be reasonably easy to release. So uh, that will be a lot better than using um, like build tack stuff like what I've got on the bed over there, hopefully. But I'm just going to try it out for now. I'll put a link in the description to where I got this from. It was uh, pretty cheap. It was like $9.00. Uh, most places I've seen it's quite expensive. It comes with this uh, 3M uh, high temperature double sided adhesive to be able to stick it onto the print bed. Okay, so I've got the uh, PEI sheet on there, so now we've just got to try it out and see if it works. So the way I'm connecting this onto here is just with uh, four of these 15mm uh, clips. These are right, okay, so where these binding clips are, I've put a small piece of Captain tape around and under on the um, enamelled PCB just so there's uh, no chance of these clips uh, shorting the uh, heat bed out hopefully and this is just uh, some 25mm capped on tape I'll put a link in the description to it Right, so I just tried to print something and the PLA would not stick to it. Uh, so I had a quick search online and found out that um, initially PLA doesn't stick to new PEI. So what you need to do is, is to get some alcohol, put a little bit of that on there, and then go at it with a piece of sandpaper. It says 6400 grit, but I only got, I've only got 1500 grit. So I've used that and just went over it lightly. Uh, so hopefully now uh, the print should stick. So, yeah, let's try it again. Okay, so that print here stuck really well. Uh, when it was above 66 degrees Celsius, it stuck on here really well and it wasn't coming off but as soon as it dropped below 30 I only had to put a little slight amount of tension on it and it just popped off so I'm pretty impressed with that and the bottom is completely smooth and 66 degrees Celsius on this bed is around about the highest I can get uh, without having to wait an excessively long time for the bed to heat up 
I am going to be installing a um, heat bed MOSFET for this so hopefully that might help to get the uh, print temperature up on the bed a little bit higher. So um, the PEI, I bought this for $10, I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, that's around about the cheapest I've found it actually, most places like um, eBay and Amazon they're around £20 so I'll put a link in the description to this and uh, yeah it seems to be pretty good. Um, also I'll put a link in the description to some of these bill tax sheets, I found five of these bill tax sheets uh, for $16 and uh, that's pretty good value I think. Uh, most places you get like three sheets for like uh, £20 or something. I noticed on Amazon, uh, but yeah, I still like using these. I still use these on my own Wanhao duplicator i3. Yeah, so I think that's all. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please uh, comment down below and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon at the corner, and then you'll get updates of when I bring new videos out. MOSFET heat bed upgrade coming next. So stay tuned. Yep, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.